So I saw Drift last night, and I thought the film was very, the film is beautiful actually, and very entertaining. Thank you. Um, and it's set on the coast of Australia. Yep. So I assume the film was shot there, yes? Yeah, we shot just outside of Margaret River, um, which is a really kind of beautiful, untouched part of Western Australia. And mm -hmm. it's kind of perfect because the film's set in the 70s, and uh, there's not many places that you can go that haven't got, you know, high-rise buildings. Um, so yeah, it was, it was really great, great part of the world. So you both have to like uh, wear wigs for this for the the roles that you perform. Is they're not your real hairs? Uh, a lot of it was. We grew yeah. our hair out. Yeah, I know I did. My hair was down to here, and I had this beautiful Farrah Fawcett little bouffant going on. <laughs> Farrah Fawcett. Is that, <laughs> is that how, how you describe the hair? Yeah, style? yeah. yeah a nice little wavy That's number. That's what I said to the makeup artist. Right. Yeah. Specifically, <laughs> or a model myself. Direction I want to go. Yeah. It brings so, a vulnerability to the character. Yeah. Right. So Farrah Fawcett, how about you? What hair style <laughs> did you have in mind at the time? Which which actor actress? Which actress was I uh, <laughs> inspired by? Raven World. Uh, look, there there are a lot of references. Um, you know, I was thinking. Oh, I don't know. Maybe oh, I've got no idea. Actually, I'm trying to pull <laughs> Robert Bartholomew. Yeah, yeah. I'm trying to think of female actresses from the '70s hmm. that uh, were inspiring for my no. No. Uh, Daryl <laughs> Hannah. Daryl Hannah. Yeah, big time. That's too long. Yeah. Her hair was too long for yeah. you. <laughs> so um, I was talking to Sam earlier, and he mentioned that he, his character is kind of based loosely um, about his uncle, also named Rainbow. Mm. Um, so that's kind of interesting. What about the characters you both portray in this film? Did you kind of uh, develop this character on your own, or did you kind of... Um Miles sat down with uh, Farrah Fawcett for a while. And yeah? Sort of yeah. got to know her. In the makeup chair, she was great. <laughs> no, um, the, the, for both of us, I think the, you know, these characters are a combination of a lot of different people we've met, and, and you know, we got a chance to sit down with a lot of you know, surfers from the 70s who mm -hmm. um, had a lot mm. of great stories. And, and also, we both have brothers, so you know that's such a strong, you know, part of the the film that relationship, and so we're able to kind of you know draw on those experiences as well. These surfers that you both talk to, they're from they're huge in the seventies. Um, do they share any secrets uh, that they never share with anyone else before and share with you both? No, I, I don't think they they've really got any secrets. They tend to uh, to just. You know, no? open up and uh, talk about everything they've been up to. So It was a wild time. I, mean, I spoke to a, a few iconic surfers from the period that live in Margaret River, and it was crazy. I mean, it was the frontier. These people, you know, they gave up commercial world. They were trying to live a, a more hippie lifestyle, a simpler lifestyle, uh, fishing every day, catching their own food, and um, designing surfboards and pioneering that whole process. Uh, and, and these people created in the process a modern surf industry out of their backyard sheds. Um, lots of secrets, you know, things I wouldn't reveal, but it was a crazy time. Um, but not now, right? The, the, the surfing community nowadays, the modern day, I assume very different versus uh, the 70s, yes? Yeah, uh, yeah in, in a lot, of, lot yeah. of respects, I think. But maybe, I mean, I wouldn't say a lot has, a lot has changed. It's certainly become more popularized and uh, there's a lot, of, lot more people on the, in the water, but you know, just little things like they they wouldn't have leg ropes on their boards, so you kind of you, if you lost your board, you had to paddle after it. And, you know, that's why a lot of those guys are a lot skinnier, and mm. you know, it's just a you know a different time, and you know, also a different context. You know, coming out of the '60s and you know, kind of rebelling against you know that, that sort of society. So right. Yeah. As I was watching this film, um, I'm just curious that. Uh, you know the characters that you both play perform in this film are they they seem very comfortable with being out there and doing the thing but in reality in real life are these surfers are afraid at all of the water any point it's a good question i asked ross ross clark jones the same question who's an iconic big wave surfer and we sur we shot some of the surf in in monstrous waves and i said you get scared out here he said not really. He said, I said what, it's frightening when you get pummeled by a big wave. And he said, mate, surfing, riding the wave is only part of the ride. Mm. The other part of the ride is when you're being tumbled underwater. Yeah. He said, if you enjoy that, you've got to learn to enjoy that part of it too. It becomes a thrill, not necessarily 
um, a really frightening experience. Uh, for me, yeah, I find that environment very frightening at times. Um, it's wild. There's sharks out there. It's yeah. you're on your own. It's a, it's very you're, you're very isolated, but there's something quite um, exciting and inspiring about it as well. Even though you're frightened, all your senses are heightened. You've got adrenaline surging through your body. Uh, it's it's a, it's a nice break from from the you know the the control of society. Interesting. Yeah. How about you? How, how I think you? I think fear is, is an important part of you know. Um, you know, just the way you go about life, you know, and if you know, you know, you ought to be, you know, especially as, from an acting perspective, kind of, you want to be in a place where you're kind of terrified and, you know, you don't ever really want to get too comfortable and um, otherwise, you know, what are you, what are you doing, you know? So, I guess, I mean, from the surfing side of things, it's, you know, of course it's, um, it's terrifying and, um, you know, but also exhilarating and, and a lot of fun as well. Mm. Great job, gentlemen. Thank, Thank you. you so much for talking to us. Thank You're you. very welcome.